the slugs and snails are out eating your plants and you want to get rid of them, don't kill your pet in the process. Slug and snail bait poisoning in dogs and cats can definitely be deadly. Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from ourpetshealth.com, helping you and your pet to live a healthier, happier life. So if we're just meeting for the first time and you're interested in optimizing your dog and your cat's health, then hit the subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. There are lots of different slug and snail bait types on the market. Some of the most popular contain the chemical metaldehyde mixed with bran or wheat. They are generally in pellet form, although they can be a liquid or a powder, and they're bright blue in colour. They are pretty effective against slugs and snails, but they're also incredibly effective against dogs and cats. One of the reasons for this is that metaldehyde-based slug and snail baits can actually taste pretty good, and so our dogs and our cats may actually seek it out and eat all that they come across. Some metaldehyde-based slug and snail baits may claim to be safer for pets or of a low toxicity. And this is often because they have added something to them that makes them taste very bitter or unpleasant. Don't be fooled though, our pets eat all kinds of terrible tasting things. And if these snail baits contain metaldehyde and our dog or our cat eats them, then the effect will still be the same. So just how poisonous is slug bait for dogs and cats? The short answer is very. A 20 pound or nine kilogram dog would only need to eat about 18 grams this is about a tablespoon and it's not much. A typical pack of slug and snail bait weighs around 400 grams and that's enough to kill a pack of dogs weighing a total of 200 kilograms or 440 pounds. Make no mistake, it doesn't matter how big your pet is, it only takes a really tiny amount of slug or snail bait to kill them. So that's how deadly slug and snail bait can be, but what symptoms does it actually cause? Well, it causes what some know as shake and bake syndrome. This often starts with vomiting, diarrhea and drooling before progressing to tremors and full-on seizures. These seizures and convulsions are so severe that the pet quickly develops extreme hypothermia, a raise in their body temperature, and this then causes multi-organ failure and death. There is no specific antidote to slug and snail bait poisoning. If your pet is poisoned, then the treatment given will be symptomatic. Your vet will try their very best to keep your pet alive while the poison works its way out of the body. If you know your pet has eaten some bait, then your vet will make them vomit if they are not yet showing symptoms. Once nervous signs like tremors or incoordination start though, making your pet vomit is not safe. And this is because there is a serious risk that your pet will actually inhale their own vomit, which in itself can be fatal and is something called aspiration pneumonia. The next step then might be to actually anaesthetize your pet so that their stomach can be flushed out and allow all of the snail bait that is remaining to be removed. Even if your pet is made to vomit, it is highly likely that there will still actually be quite a lot present in the stomach. And removing as much as possible will then give your pet the best chance of recovery. The stomach can also be filled with um, something called activated charcoal and that can just help to absorb any toxin present in the rest of the intestines. Once your pet develops nerve or neurological signs, different drugs can be given to try and control them. If your pet's temperature is too high, then measures will be taken to cool them down as much as possible. Muscle relaxants might be needed as well. It might even be that your pet needs to be anaesthetized for many hours to control their symptoms. If your pet survives, then recovery generally takes two to three days, but this is a big if. Many dogs will die in the first few hours of showing signs of poisoning despite the best treatment and the best efforts of any vet. There are plenty of alternatives to metaldehyde slug and snail bait. So if you have pets then really there is no excuse not to be using something else. You could try crushed shells or beer traps or diatomaceous earth. Shops also sell iron based slug pellets and these are much safer although they do take longer to kill slugs and snails small price to pay though for keeping your pet alive. If you absolutely must use metaldehyde snail or slug bait then keep it locked away and fence off the area from your pet. Even then understand the risk that you might be taking is a sig significant and serious one. So I hope this helps protect your pet and prevents a potentially serious case of poisoning. To find out all the other common pet poisons you need to know about make sure you check out my top 20 pet poisons video link below. And if you have any questions, then please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also remember to subscribe and until next time,
I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.